My name is Nova and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey where I turn hype sneakers into riches. Okay, interesting. I got one. Oh, just caught. Yeah. <laughs> yes, yes. I, the checkouts are pouring in now. Nova, all on what bot? I guess that's a good sign. That's what you can do. One of them out of the queue. Actually got around that number. Dude, no way, I got them. Supreme is going to be doing their in-store sign-up for the beginning of the season. Okay, boom. Processing. Okay, I got through on both of them. Alright, so we'll just have to see what happens later on. If I get any text messages. I did get a text back from Supreme. I managed to successfully sign up with two different phones. One of them I didn't get accepted for the other one. I did. My time slot is at 11.30 with a pretty good place in line. Not the best, but I do believe I should be able to touch most of the things. I am going to be going to Supreme Brooklyn. So from what I've heard, that is the store with the most stock, at least historically. But we'll just have to see what I end up copying tomorrow. What's your number? 84. 84? All right, yeah. did manage to get a bunch of the stuff that I did want kind of uh, to be honest I did mess up a little bit because I was super zoned out while I was in the store two things that I did not cop that I definitely should have copped was the bottle and the Zippo I messed up but anyways let's look at some of the things that I did manage to get and for some reason they gave me two of each item for some of the stuff so I'll explain a little bit later but for now let's take a look at the t-shirts Those are all the t-shirts. Also got this track jacket in a medium. Got a beanie. Uh, this I'm keeping for a personal. And now here are the bags that I ended up getting. For some reason, they gave me two of each bag. I'm not sure if that's because they have a lot of them and they want to get rid of them right away or they were just being nice to me. So here are the small shoulder bags. Now these are super duper tiny. Here is the hat uh, in comparison. The hat's almost bigger than this thing. Here are the waist bags. Now, in my opinion, these are the best waist bags that Supreme has done in quite a while. I would have kept it as a personal. I cannot justify keeping a waist bag that costs $100. I'm not looking to make a lot of profit from any of these individual pieces, except for the Tupac shirt. I should get a bit more profit from that. But in general, even though the profit margins are going to be low for all of these items, it does build up being that I did end up getting a lot of items. So I'm not going to make too much money, but just enough to make it worth my while. Yeezy 350 regional exclusives are supposed to be dropping today. Out of these three, I'm only going to go for the European exclusive. I believe it's called the Yeezy 350 tail light. However, the problem is whenever I go for a European exclusive sneaker or release, I usually just have it sent to Joy's UK address, but unfortunately their family is currently on vacation. So I do not have that option as of right now. So instead, what I have to do is have my packages go through reshippers, which I have zero experience. So therefore I currently have high hopes and low expectations, but we'll just have to see what happens. Nice Oh, uh, 
Like some cyber members are saying that Foot Locker EU updated so that you require an account to add to cart. Saying my PayPal password is incorrect. No, I've got the same. Oh, you had the same thing? Yeah, I had the same thing. I'm on my way to meet up with a local buyer right now. I'm going to be selling him this blue waste bag, so we'll see how it goes. Fortunately, I was not able to record the transaction. It happened so fast. He just pulled up with a car and I gave him the bag and then he gave me the money. Donezo, finished. That was the quickest transaction I've ever made with a local pickup. In addition to that local sale, I also sold a few things on StockX. However, it is currently Monday and that's bad because we are approaching Thursday, which is when Supreme is going to drop week one online. When that happens, then the prices are going to plummet for basically everything that I've bought in store. So I am planning to sell everything that I have from Supreme right away, but CJ, my regular buyer, seems to be replying to me at an insanely sluggish pace. Being that the online drop is very soon, uh, that's not gonna <laughs> really work out for me. So I do have some things listed on StockX, kind of just out of desperation to get these items off of my hands. Anyways, we do have some packages to unbox, so we'll get to that right now. Here is the majority of the Jordan 1s that I managed to cop in the previous episode. However, I do have one more of these to pick up from a different address. Yeah, these are kind of like a brick right now, but that's totally fine being that I do believe that this color and the quality and just everything about this shoe is amazing. And the prices will definitely go up. In about 10 minutes, Supreme Week 1 is going to be dropping. However, I'm only going for Tupac tees because I think this is the most risk-free drop as far as resale value. Week 1 is always a little bit strange being that we never know what to expect from Supreme changing up things with anti-bot, but I'm just going to run my bots and see what ends up happening. Got waiting for restock. Right? Oh, so many came in. Email just came in. Let me see what I got. I got a white t-shirt. That Supreme drop was a total fail, dude. I had the best bots that work for Supreme and I wasn't able to get a single one with any of the task bots like Cyber or Mac or Velox. Uh, however, I did get one using Mango Prime, which is super clutch as always it could either be because my billing is banned or my setup is just bad it is my first time running mech so i didn't really 100 percent sure know what i was doing but my buddy from notify showed me his setup on his mech bot so i will try to use his setup next time hopefully i end up getting something next week using that bot because that bot 
absolutely destroyed it. Uh, I just didn't know what I was doing. That's all really. This episode has just been filled with me making so many mistakes. This is the perfect example of when I say that having the best bots and resources will still not guarantee success. Many newcomers who tune into the show and turn into aspiring resellers may make the mistake of dropping a ton of money on a botting setup without any proper guidance. And the most likely result will be similar to the poor live cop demonstration that you just saw. Mechpreme has been the most consistent Supreme bot throughout the past couple of seasons and it did extremely well for this particular drop, with users being able to cop multiples with no problems at all. Which means I'm the one that messed up and what I really should have done was consulted with an experienced user from one of my cook groups before the Supreme drop, not after. The results may have been very different and I could have potentially made a lot more money. What I'm saying is if you're a beginner or an aspiring reseller then you should consult with your cook group before you heavily invest into an expensive botting setup. Because if you have a super sick bot and you don't know how to cop with it then your investment on the bot would have been a waste and we obviously want to avoid that. But as you can see simply joining a group won't help you be successful. You still have to put the work in and use the group's features and resources to your full advantage so that you can put yourself in a position to make money. If you don't have a group yet and you're looking to join one, notify the sponsor for today's video will be restocking limited membership spots this month. This is one of the premium cook groups that I've personally been using throughout most of my reselling journey and not only will they provide you with all the basics to help you get started with everything you need, but they will also provide you with site lists, guides, restock alerts, and much more. Reselling and botting can get very complicated so if you have any other unanswered questions, their expert support team will be happy to assist you. Notify will drop the link to purchase a membership on their Twitter at the time and date of their restock, but memberships do sell out very fast and they don't restock too often. So if you're planning to take reselling seriously sometime soon, take advantage of this opportunity while you can. Anyways, I did manage to sell a bunch more Supreme stuff from the in-store release. And one thing that I did sleep on that I definitely should not have slept on is the turntable. I don't know why, but the turntable started selling for over $300 last time I checked uh, which is very surprising because I expected the stock on those to be like super duper high but I'm not too salty about that I'm more salty over the fact that I wasn't able to get a W on Supreme so I have to redeem myself with this upcoming drop in about a couple of days the Jordan 1 Pine Greens we gotta get a bunch of those man A skate shop in the UK is going to be dropping the Travis Scott Dunks. The thing about this is that it's only meant for UK pickup. I'm not going to actually pick these up, however, a buddy of mine who does live in the UK, I will be running slots for him. And for every slot that I do hit for him, he's going to give me $200, which I think is a very, very good price for him. And it's $200 for me, which is a considerable amount of money, being that I'm only pressing a few buttons to get it if I do manage to. So, we'll see how I end up doing. Yo, no way though. Oh, dude, the card was declined. No, Why? no way. It's just come up on my Revolut. It's gone. It says card temporary. It, was, it said card declined, and now it's gone card temporary on oh, hold. Holy shit. <laughs> oh, mate. I did say I was going to go all out on these pine greens, but looking at the prices, it does not seem like that is the best idea. However, I do believe this is a solid shoe to hold, so I'm still going to try to get a few. Mainly, I'm going to be going for the safe sizes. And another thing with Jordan 1s is that. No matter what the stock numbers are, a lot of people underestimate how hard it is to get them sometimes. So that's why I am running hundreds of tasks because I have to be prepared in case they do end up being super limited.
Another one. Okay, I might stop now. Holy shit, I'm getting too many W's. Okay, way too many. I'm closing my bottle together. Jordan 1 Pine Green Drops went exactly the way I wanted it to. So I was able to get a few of them, a few GS sizes, a few men's sizes, and I was able to stop my tasks in time without getting too many. But that being said, I was able to sell a pre-order of one of my GS sizes, and here is the amount of profit that I made. Everybody's calling them bricks right now, but those are gonna go up for sure. Because I've seen a lot of Jordan 1 highs sit on shelves, and then like, a year later they are like double the price so i'm probably going to sell maybe a couple more and then hold on to the rest of them as for the easy release that did not exactly go according to plan all that much however i did end up with two using nike shoe bot which really did come in clutch however the two bots that really really cooked up those easy reflectives is splash force and phantom and i do have phantom but i did not set it up I don't personally like the way their cookies system works. From what I know, you do have to generate your cookies manually. Uh, if you don't know what that means, all you have to know is that it takes a really long time and it's very tedious. However, for Nike Shoebot, you really don't have to do any of that. You just set up your tasks, press start, and then it does everything for you. And I was able to get two of the Yeezy Reflectives using that bot, so I am very happy about that. However, I definitely should have set up Phantom beforehand. One of the main reasons why I didn't take that easy reflective drop too seriously is because it was a shock drop. There was nothing really confirmed and then at one point they did remove the item from the back end of the website so I started to get really skeptical of whether or not it was even worth preparing for. Anyways, we do have some packages to open so let's get to it. Got a white Tupac tee in a size medium, sticker pack. They gave me another one of these. I actually sold the one that I got from my in-store release for 25 bucks on eBay. My payout would be around $20. The last women's Jordan 1 came in. This one is actually my size. But anyways, uh, next episode, we do have the Supreme Motion logo hoodies dropping. Tomorrow, I will be trying to go for the in-store registration. So maybe I will get back into the store again. We'll just have to see on the next episode.